page number seven, we have another Reka. There is birds and there is a building. Actually, this building is from Unita Habitative of Corbusier in Marseille. And uh, you have a kind of a complex uh, sound because all the women continue with these high long notes that is a little bit different one from another and the men use all kind of consonants and create like a blubbering to create the darker timbers so the women go like oh, 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 very long like a mantric sound like an open chord while the man is doing this uh, blubbering sound or this is a very rich texture and the conductor will change you all the time and it will become like a, a sonic ambient, a real live sonic ambient. Now, well, we are in cycle number three, by the way, already. Uh, cycle number three, second element, woman echo soloist with closed mouth. Here it's also a kind of a reactive uh, element. So you hear the singer and you create like a tail of sound with the closed mouth singing something which is next to what she's thinking, but with the closed mouth. So she one thing, you with the closed mouth, and everybody do it a little bit different, so it becomes like a blurred sound of the source. And the men fade out easily, just you know, like the volume, close the volume a little bit. Fade out, look at the conductor. Cycle three. Cycle three, two with example solace. Element number three. Here we have uh, uh, totally different stuff. Women alternate between closed lips and open lips with fast and wide tremolo. Tremolo, it means it's like a vibration. You know, you do, instead of doing ah, you do ah, you can do like this, or you can do with the, uh, with, um, the, 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 the mouth, ah, either or here with the chest, just, you know, to make it tremble a little bit. Tremble is tremble, I think. So, and you change the closed and the open mouth. So you have, mm -hmm, I am, uh, of course, to a vocal because the consonant will not sound. The men in the center make a scratch sound wave. Scratch wave sound. It's like uh, you you do something with the uh, caudal um, with the chords of your voice and you make it a little bit rough, like you have a, um, a flu or something. So, so instead of doing ah, you do ah, and also there, follow these uh, indications of the conductor. And left and right men are playing ping pong. Now they are not playing ping pong with a ping pong ball, but with a text. And the text is found in page number eight. And it's a kind of a spaghetti Latino text, um, gibberish generated from a real text, uh, by the way, very important historical text. If you know which text is it, you get a, a free entrance to Reka. Um, 
as a crowd, so you need to participate. So you just read the text a little bit uh, as you understand, and the conductor will pass the text between left and right. So we start institutions, ratium, delonium, sentiare, rom, formation, provito. You don't need to know Latin. I didn't study Latin. You just read whatever you you understand, and it will sound some a little bit Latin. Now we are in the fourth element in which women fade out. Men in the center and in the right fade out, look at the conductor. And the left continue to whisper this text of uh, Gramlo Latin. It's really, it's not about reading very carefully, it's about the accumulated voice. Okay. Now, uh, in number five, men in the left continue, and in the right also whisper. So we have again, we, like we went very small, the men whisper in the left and then in the right. And here we are in page number nine, element six in third cycle. Now, now here the men reflect soloists with extremely long notes, changing vocals. So you hear the singer is singing something, uh, the whatever, and you just hear and you try to really sing with him. You know, like when you like, uh, you hear a new pop song and you want to sing with it. And you do the best you can, but this time you do it like in slow motion and with whatever uh, vocal you want. You can do ah, just don't do lu 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 or something like this or me 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 just vocals so you reflect the soloist while the woman read the second text very quiet soft and very fast so the first text was kind of latin the second is a kind of persian it is also a very important uh, um, source literally source but it was all mixed and here it's, it's Persian, it's much softer a language, a, a sweeter language, and the woman uh, just read it. It's not Persian, it's like pseudo-Persian. And this is element number six. Element number seven, we have another kind of uh, reka, which I like very much. Uh, the first reka, you remember reka is background, and we have here the image, and uh, it's an image of a kind of an abstract uh, ocean with little planktons or animals, and it's written, sound of ocean, wind, and all the small transparent animals inside them. So if you feel very uh, image with a lot of imagine you can try to do an animal I don't know <laughs> if you don't just do the ocean uh, sound sound of ocean is very easy to imitate you just use a consonant or something <laughs> all the wind <laughs> and it's a uh, one minute of this stuff always look at the conductor when you do it because he will bring you up and down, etc. So now we are in element number eight in uh, the third cycle and uh, in page number ten and here what we have is a reflection actually in this case 
of uh, the monk in the in Reka, in the world premiere it's the Lama, and it's about uh, mantras. Mantras are uh, vocals or really small words that becomes like an, a symbol of concentration. So what here you are asked to do, uh, the uh, Lama will do a long Ah, which is uh, the basic uh, mantra of the Tibetan bone tradition, and you reflect him in any height, adding also some accent and vibrating notes. So he goes like ah, and then the conductor gives you number eight, boom. You go like And in number nine, we have the same thing. The only thing is that the mantra is yam. And all right and all left reflect the leading soloist with the word yam in any height. While the center go a little bit back and to the Reka number five, the one with the ocean, remember? So you have left and right going like yam. All the breath you can until uh, the conductor closes you, and in the center you have the, the ocean. In number 10, we are still in this uh, thing of reflecting uh, uh, the monk, the lama. Uh, so you have the man in the center, do still the ocean. The woman in the center, rarely, with the indication of uh, the conductor, create high transparent note, sliding to a low note. You remember this thing? This, this thing of the, like the cascade of high notes falling, while uh, the right count by heart until 10, and then start reflecting the leading soloist lowest with the word Ram. Ram is another kind of mantra in any height. So, actually, you have here something that is gradual, that is happening, that we start with the ocean, the woman that goes, you have the left doing the ocean as well, and then the man after going, to the, 